Hey, what's going on guys? Well, we are back for yet another video today and if you saw my last video, we built out two grow out tanks for the baby guppies. And today's video is actually going to be about babies again, but not guppies this time. So, I just noticed something. I was looking in uh, one of my tanks and realized there was a fish being extremely aggressive towards other fish. Didn't understand why until I took a closer look. And you'll see what we saw in just a minute. But apparently, we're going to be having more babies in about seven to ten days and I will show you that here momentarily but today's video is going to be about building a divider that prevents fish from attacking each other because at this point it is too late to relocate these and I don't have a tank big enough to put them in because of where the eggs are laid. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take a look at the hundred gallon and go ahead and comment below before we get in there right now. Here we'll just take a look at the saltwater tank real quick. So while we're looking at this saltwater tank here go ahead and comment and tell me what fish do you think has laid eggs at this point? Look at the little clownfish rolling around. Anyway, let's go take a look at the 100 gallon and see what we've got today. But this is interesting. Well, as you see right here, the angelfish is being extremely aggressive. Extremely aggressive. Look at it. And there he goes. Just watch. Oh, oh, and that's what I saw. What we have here is if you look right there on top of that piece of wood that is like thousands and thousands and thousands of angelfish eggs well i can't relocate those at this point so we are gonna have to do our absolute best at keeping these guys alive so what we are planning on doing is building a what's up bro i know they're beating you up man i get it they're like totally beating you up so what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to figure out a way to keep these guys safe without the other fish eating them and and we're gonna do that with a divider. So I'm gonna get some stuff and we're gonna make a divider for this tank. We'll put the angelfish on this side. We'll put everything else on that side and keep them. Oh, oh, you better watch out, Bala Shark. Let's get into this today. All right, guys, well, let's get over to, let's say we're gonna go to Home Depot, actually. I have an idea of how I'm gonna build this divider for inside of this tank. So let's run over there and pick up what we need. All right, well, we are back and I have picked up what we need. Essentially, what we're gonna start with is this. And this is what's called a, I don't know, a light diffuser, something like that. It's usually used in commercial buildings. It's exactly what you would use to build like a shelf in a paludarium. And it's used for many other different things. And, and people in the hobbies, uh, both reptile and fish use it for all kinds of things. So we're gonna start with that. Then we are gonna use some standard nylon screen for your windows. This is not a metal screen. This is actually just a nylon screen. I didn't want to buy the metal screen because I didn't want it rusting and things like that. So, and I don't know what kind of chemicals and things like that are in here. So we're actually gonna treat this in some water basically to make sure that there's no chlorine or chloramine type substances on this, as well as we are going to use a heavy metal remover, which you can actually buy to put in your tank that just basically is going to remove anything that may be bad for your tank in this. I did a little research online and people use this stuff sometimes for different things inside of their tanks and they th this is what was recommended so we'll see how this goes well I have some really bad news guys so I did not get this divider built fast enough and I think the ballast shark ate the eggs as when I went back in there and looked the piece of driftwood was completely clean and the ballast shark was actually mouthing on the piece of wood where those eggs were. However, I went ahead and read about this and apparently if the parents think the eggs are in danger, they will actually pick them up, put them in their mouths and relocate them. I did notice that one of the angelfish, which you, it's very difficult, if you research this, you'll understand, but you can, it's almost impossible to sex an angelfish unless you physically watch which one lays the eggs. So one of the angelfish has some bloating around their mouth and I'm wondering if that is because they've sucked all the eggs in their mouth and they're looking for a place to relocate them. Regardless, we're still building this divider because the fact that we now know that there is actually a female and a male, and the reason I know this as well, something else. So when you look at the at the clutch of eggs that have been deposited, the ones that are clear or translucent are the ones that have actually been fertilized by the male. The ones that are solid white have not been fertilized. And in that clutch of eggs, there were hundreds, if not thousands of eggs, and dotted throughout there, there were a few that were solid white. So I'm pretty sure that we have a male and a female, and those were the two fish that were actually protecting that clutch of eggs from the other fish, including 
including the other angelfish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build the divider. Even though it's heartbreaking that all the eggs are gone, or at least we think they're gone, they will lay more eggs. So we gotta get this divider in there and get it in there quick. So let's get into building this thing now. Okay, so we're just gonna take our piece of plastic here, measure out 17 and an eighth inch by 20 inches. So our 17 and an eighth inch is going to be right up against the side of this. So let's get to cutting. Go see if it fits. Oh my gosh, it is hot today. Yeah, it is real hot. It's like 94 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity makes it feel like it's 104. What's it like where you live? Comment below and let me know. Maybe if it's nice and this COVID thing goes away, we'll make sure we travel there at some point and come see you. So comment below, let me know where you're at and what the weather's like. All right, let's see if this fits. All right, we have it in there, but we're gonna have to make a little modification. Okay, so what we have is that there's just a little catch right here. So we're just literally gonna take the scissors and cut this little piece right here out, just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And then if we sit this back down in here, okay, well, it's not perfect. It could take a little trimming, but I really want to have the sides fully touching the glass. So there's a little bow in it, but that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this back outside and we are going to cover this with screen, zip tie it down and get this thing back in here and get these angelfish separated from the rest of this tank. Now you're probably asking me, why don't I just move these to another tank? Well, I don't have a tank open right now and for me to set one up and get one ready for them, it's going to take way longer than doing this. So this can be temporary and can protect them from the other fish if they decide to lay eggs before I get that done. So let's go ahead and get this screened in and get these fish separated. So I had already washed or rinsed this off, but one thing that I wanna do is, because I don't know what this screen has on it or what they used in it, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this screen apart. <coughs> Coronavirus. We're gonna get this screen pulled apart, which is basically saran wrapped together. Okay, we have the screen. Now all we need to do is just figure out how much screen we need in order to wrap this. And we are going to wrap it on both sides. Okay, so we have this cut down. Now, what I also have is, I have a five gallon bucket of water, and I'm going to be using some API Stress Coat Plus in this, which is basically a dechlorinator, and that's just because I don't know what this material is made from, and I, I mean, I did some research. It doesn't say it has any chlorine or those kinds of things, but we don't know what they washed it with. And this stuff actually has a dosing cap on it, so if you read on the back, it says use the dosing cap, add five ml to every 10 gallons. Well, this is a five gallon bucket, and we're doing some cleaning, so it's not gonna hurt it to go ahead and add enough for 10 gallons to this and uh there we go it's in the water so we have dechlorinated our water that we're about to wash this screen in now it's just a matter of washing it all right screen's now washed now let's get it on there all right guys well i got the initial screen laid out over top of this and kind of tucked under and we are going to go and actually start zip tying this together real quick so i'm going to start at the top and i'm literally just going to take a zip tie Okay, so we have the screen attached. Okay, we're gonna start by moving everything to one side of this tank other than the driftwood, because the driftwood is going to stay. Make sure all the other fish are on the other side. And then I'm going to simply place our screen barrier. All right, guys, well, if you can see, this is the side without the two angelfish. Well, you have the one angelfish right here who is totally getting bullied and is now okay. Look at him. He's okay, look, he's like, hey, thanks for keeping me safe. But I went ahead and waited a couple of days to see if these guys would actually go ahead and relay eggs or if maybe they had them in their mouths. And unfortunately they didn't, but they're now completely separated from the other ones, which which means that when they do finally lay eggs again, we won't have to worry about them getting eaten. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hopefully you have enjoyed this video today. I know that we didn't focus a lot on fish, but we were more building something for fish. But what I'd like from you is, can you go ahead and comment below? Let me know, should we continue trying to breed these angelfish or should we just stop? Go ahead and drop a like on this video. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe as well. I want to let you know that I am grateful for each and every one of you that take the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I cannot thank you enough, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, with all that being said, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content and hopefully you enjoyed this video today. And hey, we'll see you next time.